Thank you for waiting. Sorry to have to interrupt you earlier. Oh, that's okay. I don't attend enough meetings to know how it plays out, so I apologize for interrupting no earlier. Um, uh, I'm asking the town council to consider the following prior to the sale of the land surrounding the parking deck uh, identified as Ca Academy Park. Uh, the latest available plan to the public from the developer shows less than 25% tree canopy cover, uh, a move from two buildings to three, which is the minimum recommended by the EAB board for a commercial district. Um, since this is not meeting the EAB recommendations, what green, green infrastructure elements on the site are being used to offset, offset the plan, uh, plan's lack of tree canopy. Currently, without the development, the area is all grass and trees, so there would be almost 100% transition to concrete. Uh, shouldn't the expectation of the sale of public land incorporate guidelines in line with the values of the town and the EAB? Uh, secondly, although a traffic generation analysis was done, uh, fr from what I could find, no formal traffic impact study on the development as a whole, offices, retail, apartments, and library appear to be available, citing that the LDO uh, threshold of 100 peak hours was not met um, in the case rezoning case of 18-REZ-26. Uh, according to that, 64 peak hour trips would be added for just 0.41 acres that were rezoned, which is 58 apartment units, but ignores the total plan, which includes 153 apartment units not including the 102,000 square foot office space and 34,000 square foot of retail space and the library. So this would most likely exceed the threshold in its entirety. Uh, additionally, an evaluation of delivery vehicles, moving vehicles and tractor trailers that will access the public parking area needs to be included along with passenger vehicles as part of the study. Um, additionally, I now understand that the TOC uh, has, is crediting the developer $265,000 related to stormwater management, and then will continue to pay to process the building's runoff from then on by means of the downtown park pond. Uh, so in this case, since there is currently no need for ancillary stormwater management, um, had the Academy Park stormwater not been incorporated into the downtown park, the Academy Park developer would be obligated to manage the stormwater's uh, the project stormwater per the original stormwater guidelines in perpetuity, also spelled out in the rezoning case, uh, which essentially states that the limit the stormwater runoff from new development to pre-development site conditions in perpetuity, as well as require that the developer provide ongoing maintenance, protect the quantity, and enhance the quality of stormwater leaving the site in perpetuity. It would appear that if the original zoning called for management of water on site, they should continue to be obligated to follow that plan. And if there are countermeasures to this credit that are being incorporated, these effects, then I think it should be spelled out in the agreement uh, going forward. Some of the potential options according to the EPA stormwater management model that was used uh, include rain gardens, green roofs, cisterns, et cetera as well as adhering to the accepted recommendations of the EAB. Uh, one final note is based on the design of the Academy Park, the development is counter to the greenhouse gas guidelines recently adopted by town council, including an increase of footprint of static buildings on the property from the original design of two to three, again with no plan for green infrastructure, green roofs, green walls, additional charging stations, or accommodations for park delivery trucks. Thank you for your consideration. Thank you.